in this master class I want us to explore how to handle burnout burnout is a situation where you feel a lot of tiredness as you carry out your duty and duties professionally now this can be caused by many reasons one of them is feeling that you're overworked in fact another thing could be stress and a combination of both so these are some of the ways that you can be able to combat and be able to handle and manage burnout number one drink lots of water sometimes when you are working for long hours plus the traveling and commuting you become dehydrated and when you are dehydrated you get tired and irritated quickly number two you can reduce on caffeine reduce on coffee and reduce on strong tea there has been literature that coffee helps to drive your mind but mostly what it does is that it gives you a high and then you come clubbing down and most of the time you become jittery when the effects of the highs come down so reduce on the amount of coffee that you take especially when you are working for long hours number three take time out for exercise exercise takes your mind away from your work for a while you can take a walk you can go to the gym or you can go running well, that will keep and give your mind an opportunity to think of something else away from work and the endorphins the feel good for, uh, elements that you release during exercise will help boost your positive energy and will help move, uh, boost your morale the number four way that you can be able to manage burnout and tiredness is to work in bursts of 90 minutes and then you can rest for 20 minutes or you can work in bursts of 60 minutes then you can rest for 10 minutes build a rest in between your work sometimes i get concerned when you hear someone telling you that they have been a meeting the whole day or they have been having a meeting whether they are board meetings from morning to evening what happens in those kind of meetings is the first three or two hours people are effective then the rest of the time they are regurgitating and they are just um, cruising along waiting for the time whiling the time so that the meeting can come to an end the other way you can be able to manage your tiredness and burnout is to have a to-do list for the daily activities that you want to do and people who do all the time management experts recommend not more than five items per day and we say begin with the elephants the big tasks that have the highest impact on what you are doing for that day and then you go tackling the less important tasks of the day five in the to-do list for a day is more than enough the other way you can be able to manage your tiredness or you can be able to manage your burnout could be to understand your most productive hours of the day there are people who are morning persons like myself i do work and i feel i'm more productive in the morning hours by around 12 o'clock 
unless I'm doing a training or facilitating a workshop. My energy levels start coming down. I recall I worked in, with one lady in one organization in the marketing department. And she used to come to work at 11, unless there was a meeting that she had to be dragged into in the morning. And then she would work up to 8 or 9 in the evening. So she was more of an afternoon, mid-morning kind of a person. So understand your best working time and utilize it so that you can do more. You can do almost 70% of your work that time. And then in your low times, you can do the low impact tasks among your five to-do list items in a day. The last way you can be able to manage fatigue, tiredness and burnout at your workplace is to delegate or to share. If you cannot delegate, share some of your work, especially when you have deadlines and reports to be finished within a certain time. Share with some of your colleagues, talk to them, build relationships with them so that the next time they are also having tight, dead, dead, tight deadlines, they can also be able to share some of the work. So it is a win-win situation. I wish well. I wish you well. I know you are capable. Don't allow burnout to finish you. Join your to perform a consult, perform to raise your standards.